Well, praise the Lord, everyone. Good morning, good morning. We welcome everyone again to Everyday Communion with Pastor Raymond. And as always, we encourage everyone, hey, go ahead and get your communion elements on this morning. It's time to take communion, bless God. All right. So this morning, our morning reading will be coming from Jeremiah 29, verse 11. But of course, we know in the suite, we're discussing mental warfare, that the devil is trying to attack the minds of the people of God in order to paralyze them and to stop them from making progress. He's trying to hinder you from going forward in the things of God. He said, you must know how to win the battle, the war in your mind, okay? The devil will bring thoughts and imaginations to your mind and you must cast them down. That's your mind. You have the right and responsibility to govern what goes on in your mind, okay? Just because a thought or imagination comes to your mind doesn't mean it's your thought. Every thought that comes to your head is not yours. So if that thought is a loose, rebellious, rogue thought, you must arrest it. Saying, I bind this thought in the name of Jesus and I cast it down and it shall not come to pass. It shall not prosper, okay? Well, Pastor, how do I know which thoughts to re uh, receive and which thoughts to cast down? We saw on yesterday, you have to know the truth, all right? When you know the truth, you can't be deceived, all right? So when something comes into your into your mind that goes contrary to the word of God, that goes contrary to the truth, you use the word of God as a buffer. You say, well, that's not, that's not in line with God's word. So I cast that down right now in Jesus' name. So you got to spend time with the word of God and allow the word of God to get implanted on the inside of you, okay? So let's read Jeremiah 29, verse 11. He says, for I know the thoughts I think towards you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Hear it again. I know the thoughts I think towards you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace, not of evil, to give you an expected end. New Living Translation says, For I know the plans I have for you, saith the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. All right? Hear me now. God has no evil thoughts about you. Again, God has no evil, no wicked thoughts about you. He has no plans or thoughts to harm you or hurt you. God's thoughts towards you are peace and good to give you hope and a future, okay? So if you know that God has no evil, no wicked, no hurtful, harmful thoughts towards you, then you know when those kind of thoughts come into your mind, they're not from God. Come on, man. Let's not make this thing complicated now. If God said, I have no evil thoughts towards you, I have no bad thoughts towards you. So when bad, evil, wicked thoughts come to my mind, I have to automatically know, hey, that's not God. Why? Because he has no evil, wicked, bad thoughts towards me. My God. And since they are not from God, I take those thoughts, cattle, bite them, cast them down. I don't receive that in Jesus' name. Why? Because that's letting you know Satan is trying to plant a seed of unbelief in your mind. Cast it down. Ah, uh, that ain't from God. That ain't from how you know it's not from God? Because God's thoughts towards me are peace, wholeness, good, love, and grace, and mercy. And my God, God don't have no bad thoughts towards me. So I buy that in the name of Jesus. I encourage you to do the same thing. All right. So remember that God has no bad thoughts towards no evil thoughts towards you. Amen. So let's go ahead and take communion this morning. Father, we love you, we bless you, we praise you. Father, we thank you for this new day and another opportunity you've given unto us to come before your table to commune with you and for that we say thank you father we take the bread right now which represents your body lord jesus everything you're doing lord jesus everything you've done was for us you was made sin for us that we might be made the righteousness of god you bore all of our sicknesses carried all of our diseases the chastisement for our peace our complete wholeness spirit soul and body was upon you and with and by your stripes. We were healed, therefore we are healed. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for all you've done. We do this in remembrance of you. We deserve your body right now. We take the bread, we eat all of it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We take the cup, the cup of the blessing, the blood of Jesus. Because of your blood, Lord Jesus, we stand before the Father this morning, holy, blameless, the righteousness of God. 
without fault, without blame, in love, all sins, past, present, future sins forgiven, never to be remembered again, never to be brought up again, never to be discussed again. And for that, we say thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you for your blood. Thank you for your blood. We take the cup. We drink all of it. Hmm. Saying thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. So remember, God has no bad, no evil, no wicked thoughts towards you. He has no thoughts to harm or hurt you. So when bad, evil, wicked thoughts come into your mind, automatically know it's not from God. Amen? Amen. So let's do our favorite confession on this morning. The favor of God is in me, on me, and goes before me. The favor of God surrounds me everywhere I go and in everything I do. I expect the favor of God to be in full manifestation in my life on today. The favor of God produces for me supernatural increase, promotions, restoration, honor, increased assets, greater victories, recognition, preferential treatment, petitions granted, policies changed, and battles won in which I don't have to fight. This is God's set time to favor me. Amen. Amen. Believe that and receive it. Bless God. Father, we love you. We bless you. We praise you. Thank you, Father, for this new day and all you have in store for each and every one of us. I shout grace, grace right now, Father, to all that's watching. Father, I thank you that every need of every household is met in full with abundance of more than enough. Father, I thank you, Father, for all those who need healing in their bodies. I thank you that you are the Lord our God a healer for us, Father, and I speak peace and wholeness to every home right now in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Hey, God bless you guys. We love you. Thank you for joining us this morning for Everyday Communion. And we pray each and every one of you have a great day on today full of God's grace, his favor, and his blessing. Amen, amen. Love you guys. Have a blessed one.